Aloha Friday. It's another Friday here in, at Think Tech Hawaii where we promote tech, energy, diversification, and globalism. Uh, we are uh, live from 904th Street Mall. I'm your host, King Zilli, standing here with me. It's Charles Davis, my co-host and co-worker and friend, good friend of mine. Uh, welcome to the show. Last week, we left off uh, in building a website um, live on the show, and I undertook a, um, I w I undertook a, a, a project that I thought would be much easier on camera uh, doing it live, and we found out that it wasn't the case. There's a lot more. Uh, there's a, a, a wealth of information that is, that comes with building a simple website. So we're going to continue that series today, uh, with the point uh, keeping in mind that we're going to go uh, straight into it, uh, so you can see um, the tools that we point out, like WordPress, Joomla, and you can go ahead and build your own simple website. Uh, today, we'll be creating a web blog for the show, the Yap. Uh, we're going to create a show for Yap Show. Uh, we're going to come up with the name for the blog on here. Uh, we're going to go to WordPress.com to do this. Uh, it's a free web building website. Uh, they can host your blog. Um, the only different thing is that you will have their extension. So instead of the Yap Show, uh, uh, .com, we will have a Yap Show .com since we're going through them. But the good thing about that is that once you decide you want your own extension, uh, let's say we, if we don't want the Yap Show at uh, WordPress.com, uh, later on um, you can purchase a domain name uh, that you can put in place of that WordPress. Um, if we get to that part, we can probably show you that part, but for now we'll just focus on putting the blog online uh, so it's hosted, it's free, um, and you'll see everything here right now and right then. Okay. So without further ado, uh, welcome to the show. This is uh, Creating a Simple Website on the Yap Show with King Zilli and Charles Davis. Uh, before we get right into it, I would like to point out that uh, Popolo, the movie that we've been, uh, uh, we've had guests on here a couple of times, uh, three, four times. Um, the movie is finally done, uh, edited. Uh, they have a premiere tonight. Um, it's going to be at the M Night Club. Um, hopefully I will show up there today. Uh, and I wish them all the best to Ed and Natasha and all the whole crew. Um, you guys, uh, great job with the movie. Um, hopefully I'll be there today. Uh, if I'm not, like I say again, uh, good luck and uh, good job. Keep in touch. And uh, Charles, uh, last week when we left, you know, we were talking about the website. Um, not much that we went back and forth on. You saw I got stuck. I was doing the GoDaddy and everything. I was, I was trying to give everybody that um, overall view of what it, what it is into web building. And then we found out that there was a lot of concepts that um, can be um, the concepts. Explain the concepts itself can be a whole show on its own since we have an yeah, hour. Yeah, they have tutorials for all that. Yeah, so they have yeah. tutorials for all that. Yeah. So for now, I'm mm -hmm. going to go uh, straight into um, uh, on my screen. If you can see my, my, uh, my laptop right now, I'm on WordPress.com. And that's all you need to go to. And on the first page on WordPress.com, uh, this is how the, the home page is, and all you have to do is click this create website. Uh, you can go ahead and see what it all entails. Uh, you can find out more information on what WordPress is. I just dig through the website, but for now we're going to create just a simple <coughs> website. So I'm going to click uh, create website right now. And your first screen here uh, is going to take you through a couple of steps, uh, at least five different steps. And the first step is for you to choose the address of your website. Now, the website address, like your home address, is how people find you on the internet and around. Uh, so if you think about the internet as a, a, pl a living place, the address for people to find you, you need to come up with that address name. And it's things like Google.com is an address. Uh, Yahoo.com is an address. Uh, um, Deotrolo.com is an address. Kingsley.com is an address. Uh, thinktechhawaii.org uh, is an address. Uh, so for this, we're going to choose, I'm going to choose for my site name. Um, let me see if, and it depends too. Sometimes the address that you do come up with, it may be taken, especially when it comes to dot coms. Mm. Uh, with the dot com names now, it's almost harder for you to get a dot com name, especially a single word dot com name. If you notice, like Google, that uh, sometimes you have to make up the word to even get the name. But if you go say you want king.com right now, charles.com, almost any word you can think about, almost people, either people are sitting on it to make money off of it, 
or it's already an active site. Okay, so uh, what should our site name be for the show? Uh, let's make it um, the app show. The app show. Yeah. The app show that WordPress.com. Okay, let me see here. Uh, I'm not sure if my if my uh, users are seeing this on the on the on the screen, but I'm on my first step here. I'm doing the app show. So uh, it's saying the yes show is taken. Let's see here. All right. You know what? Uh, we're, t we're having a quick technical difficulty. We'll anyway. be right back. Uh, it, uh, it seems that our screen is frozen here. But I want you to see this. It's important for you to see what I'm doing so you understand what I'm saying so I'm not just talking. So uh, let's take a quick commercial break. Let's see if we can deal with those technical difficulties. And we'll come right back. And then I'll go ahead and pick the, the show name and go ahead and get started with the website. Uh, we'll be right back. Aloha. I'm Kili Akina president of the Grassroot Institute and host on Ehana Kako, a weekly program on the Think Tech Hawaii broadcast network. Ehana Kako means let's work together. Think of the sad alternative, let's not work together. Here in Hawaii, with all of our diversity and the richness of the people, it's important for us to come together around issues on the basis of what's right, and what's good, and what's going to serve the common good. And that's what we try to do at Ehana Kako. Every week, we interview movers and shakers, people in government, business, and other sectors of society to talk about how to create together a better government, economy, a better world here in Hawaii that can bless the rest of the world. I thank you for your attention to Think Tech Hawaii, and we look forward to seeing you every Monday, 2 to 3 p.m., on the Think Tech Hawaii Broadcast Network. We're Ehana Kako, and we wish you well. Aloha. Hi, aloha. My name is Chris Leatham, and I have host a show called The Economy and You. Uh, the show plays every Wednesday at noon, and on my show, I bring on guests who are interested or working in the technology space. And uh, so, I'd like you to come and watch the show and learn with me about all the sort of exciting things that we're doing in Hawaii to build and grow our economy ecosystem. So, I'd like to say aloha, and I look forward to seeing you on the show. Thank you. Welcome back, and that was just enough for us to fix the technical difficulties. This is the Yap Show, and we're doing a uh, basic uh, website design with my own uh, friend and co-worker, uh, Charles Davis. Welcome back to the show, and if we can direct our attention back to the screen, um, we, have, we settled on the name on WordPress.com. Well, first of all, uh, let me catch you up to speed. Um, if you weren't here before we took our first break, uh, we're de we were creating a simple website last week. Um, we ran into difficulties with me doing something live um, on screen that the concept and uh, the tutorials and how, where to go were a little too deep for a one hour show. So for today, we're just going to go right into it, create a blog for this show, the Yap Show on WordPress.com, one of the advocate, one of the tools I'm advocating for for easy website design. Um, right now, I'm going to uh, direct your attention back to my screen. Um, I'm going to start the whole process over. So if we go to WordPress, Dot com. Your first place you want to go is WordPress.com. So, Charles, have you heard of WordPress.com? Why did it slow yeah. up? <clears throat> no, uh, WordPress. Uh, WordPress.com is a very popular uh, site to develop blogs for your business, for your cause. Um, so, you, I mean, you created Troll Dealer. How did you do that? Did you do that with, with WordPress at all? Non Nonprofit um, corporations. Um, yeah, I use a bunch of different programs um, that kind of integrate with each other. Um, so, you know, uh, Bootstrap. Bootstrap. Um, oh, it comes integrated with Bootstrap? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I was working with uh, different programs that work with Bootstrap, Dreamweaver, and of course, I incorporate a lot of my uh, <clears throat> my uh, knowledge of like Fireworks, Illustrator, okay. with like some of the logos and whatnot that I'm working on. So I, I do want to hear more about Deal Troller. Um, we've been talking about it since the last show. So um, yeah, it's not mind, ready yet. It's going to take us maybe a couple more weeks. We're still working out some uh, issues. 
um, with product line and whatnot. But it's it's going to be up really soon. Um, I don't know how searchable it's going to be. <laughs> right. So how we got to get it optimized and talk about that. We're probably yeah. we can probably cover can some of this on the show and, and see if, if that will help too. So if we, I can direct you back to my screen I'm on uh, WordPress.com, I'm going to go create. Uh, the WordPress blog and you have five different steps that you're going to go to. Just go through the steps normally. Uh, so for this, I'm going to choose the Yap Show uh, at WordPress.com. <clears throat> and it will prompt you if the name is taken. Like right here, you can see on the right over here, it has a check mark that says that the name, the Yap Show, is available. If it wasn't available, like for instance, if I just did the Yap Show, you can see it says, sorry, that site is reserved. So somebody have. Uh, on WordPress.com, the YAP, uh, that WordPress.com. So we're going to call the YAP show, and that's available. We're going to create the site. Perfect. That's what we have so far. So um, we're going to have an email, um, just a few details to sign up. So I'm going to go put in, my, put in my email. Let's see here. I think I have Kingsley at Gmail. Let's try that. And for a username, let's just say, um, oh, that username already exists. OK. Let's say, uh, yeah. That's taken. OK. Let's try the app show. OK, that's available. And for password, of course, I'm not going to tell you what the password is. So put in my password next. Um, I guess I didn't verify the password. Actually, I, uh, I use the same username for the password. That's why it's there. So you caught me. If you're watching intently, you'll see that uh, I was using the same. So it, the error came up that I was using the same as my username. So it wouldn't let oh. me do that. So I had to redo it. OK. All right. Now, on step three, we have the chance, um, like I was saying before, to have the extension um, to have its own address, so to go to the yapshow.com instead of the yapshow.com, um, uh, that the yapshow at wordpress.com. You know, instead of having that, we, can, we have the choice to have the yapshow.com. And if we choose this right now, it's just eighteen dollars. With eighteen dollars, I can have a website with the address. Um, I can put it online. I can have it all working and everything like that. My template, and I can go ahead and create my own custom website. But the point of this is not is for you to have the free one. So what we're going to do is say no thanks. And the beautiful thing about WordPress, as we're going right here, um, when I'm done with these steps, you'll notice that I will have a site up and running right away. Um, right now, they, they, uh, I'm on the, uh, the templates page. This is where we choose the theme. So when you're doing your deal troller, um, what, what um, application did you use? Did you remember? Well, yeah, I mean, my own, uh, if you look at my site, if you bring it up, you'll see my own logo that I created. Right, but what, what web application okay. did you use? What, what, what? Uh, Dreamweaver. You, you used it to Dreamweaver? Yeah, okay, yeah, so, okay. It, okay, so Dreamweaver comes with some <clears throat> templates, too, that you can use and just click on it and go yeah. right there and do, and do your... It's a lot easier, but if you want, you could, you know, it's really easy to make templates. All you need is a header and a footer. Right. The rest are usually just, just basic images. HTML. Yeah, yeah, you have a white background. It's not really hard to do at all. But the difference between this is that um, they've built this with the intent of making it really easy so you can just click and it happens. And then what they do is that um, the web developer had, they did everything possible to uh -huh. optimize it so you can have your website just ready and going. You don't have to worry about uh, SEO or um, for your website to be indexed for robot oh, text. Really? So it makes it easy. It's so right now if I click too. this, yeah. Wow. If I click this, if I if I activate it, it automatically will be indexed. It's if I go searchable. look for it. yes, it will be searchable right away. So let's go through here and pick a uh, uh, let's say here pick a, a template. Charles help me, let's see which one you like. 
I mean, and, you, and you're not stuck with the template. After you pick it, you have the chance to, um, once you're back into your admin place, uh -huh. uh, you can change your template and adapt to it as you want. Okay. Uh, and if you know how to code, um, if you understand the code, it actually gives you a, a view that you can go in and code. So you can change. The, the template doesn't have to look exactly as it is if you know how to go into the back end and change the code. And I have done it before, and it's, it's very fun. That way, um, you just get rid of everything and you just look at design. Everything else is done. You just change the website. So what do you do when you, you, when you usually do something like that? When, when you, you do something like that, end. okay. <clears throat> so after I, after I, so let's <clears throat> pick one here, and I'll show you exactly what, what to do. Yeah, this, anyway. And then we can go to the CSS and, and, the, the, and the HTML to be able to do it. Um, let's see, which one am I liking here? Got a preference? Uh, not really. Not really, okay. Well, we do a show on here, so one with, I would like one with a big, um, right there. a big header, and something with images that we can display, like um, maybe our um, our shows that we've done or upcoming things that we've done. And this Videos. looks like it. This looks like something fun. All right. So I chose that, and now we're on the state, the last step, pretty much. Which plan would you like to use? So um, it comes with three plans. WordPress.com, you know, is free. Uh, we select this one. That's when we have it's like a blog and it's working. And or we can pay for a premium site um, or a business site. And there's differences between um, how they each operate. Uh -huh. I'll say I'll go ahead and read what uh, what's best for you and choose that. But again, if you follow along with us, you don't have to pay anything. Just go ahead and select the free one, and it never expires. That's the thing; it'll be up forever. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save my website. So my web, my site is almost up. Actually, this is what it looks like, right? It's what it looks like right now. Okay. So let's see if Google can find it, right? Let's go to Google. And let's see if we have the Yash yeah show. Well, there I go on on, uh, on YouTube, but that's not what we're looking for. The Yash yeah show that WordPress. I may have to do one more step for it to be able to be indexed right away. What's that? But we'll see. What do you have to do? OK, so it's not up yet. Um, my, the step, so I'm going to go ahead and, cost, and customize my uh, my site. So it says, this is your site dashboard where you can write posts and control your site. Since you are new, check out, you know, you can go through the documentary and everything like that. Okay. I am not that new, so I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Um, I'm going to go to my admin page. And the admin page is the back side of your website. Uh, the, your users never get to see this side of it. So the people that are going to your site, they don't get to go see this side of it. This is where you work from to make your front side, uh, um, for them to see the front side pretty or add different things, different links or whatnot. And uh, over here, they have a lot of tutorials you can go through to learn um, basically um, all about WordPress, right? Media, posts, pages. Yeah, this is like your home your home dashboard. Wow. And they have it's like a Facebook. <clears throat> so how do you make a, I mean, how do you get an index where like, you know, people can just, well, I have, to, I have to set up the pages. So here's my, here's my pages. So here, let me open the Yav Show right here. The Yav Show. So this is what, this is my, ten, this is the template that I activated, right? Okay. And then uh, if you go to my site right now, if you're watching us live, you can go here and you will see this right now. And that's what's up right now. Um, uh, so this is the front end and this is the back end. So if I change something here, it reflects over here, right? So I haven't set up, there's a couple of things you got to set up. I have to set up my menu, I have to set up my, um, my Oh, so folder. this is what you were planning on doing for your, um, you are planning on doing something, yeah, having your own site for something, right? Right. So what I, what I was doing actually, I'll, I'll, University I'll, or something? yeah, Zilli University, what I did was, I created, I coded the, f the front side of it all in HTML, right? I coded in front, and since um, WordPress is really good with the back end, I was going to connect it with WordPress. That's another, that's a whole different level of ways of doing that. So I don't, I didn't have to use their template. I created my own template, and then I'm using that background to control my template. 
So that's what I did. But for this, um, we can go to settings. Um, and there's a lot of tutorials online uh, for you to be able to do this. So the first thing I'll, I'll suggest, go to settings and change <clears throat> all of these things right here. So the general, uh, my site title. See how it says the YAF show right up in the bar here? Yep. That's what the site title is. So if I change this to yo, it will, and if I save it and refresh, it comes out as yo up oh, here. Okay. So that's that's basically what it is. So uh, your programmer, uh, if he knows the code, he knows how to do that in the code to do that. But since it's basic and it's for everybody, it's more user friendly. Yeah, you can just go in here. It says site, site title. Now the only thing that you're going to be no, uh, you're going to be needing to do um, just for general sake and for general concept, I can touch on each and every one of these links to tell you what they are. But the basic idea is that. Um, each of these things means something. If you don't know what it means, Google it and see what it means. And you'll, you'll be able to, it, it will give you a leg up in that, in that mm -hmm. sense. So yeah. right now, if I didn't know what a site title is, I can go to Google and in Google put what is site, uh, what is site title in WordPress. At least be as specific as possible. And then you will see that there are probably general little things that you can go through, blog title, tagline, fall under, on, under this stuff. So um, for, um, I'm not going to be showing you every single thing to do here, but I'm going to give you the concept and an idea to approach it. Okay. Right? So site title, we know what that is. The definition is right there. And that's where sometimes you get a video that shows you where it is, mm -hmm. and then you can go ahead and do that. Um, with that said, we'll take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. This is the Yash Show. Stay with us. Hi, my name is Andrew Howard. I'm an astronomer at the Thank Institute you. for Astronomy at the University of Hawaii up in Manoa. I'd like to tell you about the annual open house that we're having this year. It is on so April 6, 11 to uh, 4 p.m. Oh, it's an all-ages <laughs> event. Kids, grown-ups, even uh, people in between, everyone is welcome. We have a lot of uh, really fun activities. You get to meet astronomers, look at yourself in an infrared camera, play with Legos, make robots, okay. look at videos. Um, you can even make it. Some of the kids like to make comments out of uh, gravel and, and, uh, and snow. Even adults like so to do that. Can tell you You'll be able to look at the sun with a solar camera oh, uh, safely. Ten seconds. It's really a great activity. We do this every year um, in April. Here we go. And I hope uh, to see you this year. Thanks. Welcome back to the YAF Show. Now back to our tutorial. Uh, we're talking about basic website creation concepts and just a way to approach uh, creating your own website. Uh, we chose WordPress for this one. We're creating a YAF Show blog. Um, I went ahead and went through the five steps. Um, like you, said, uh, you don't need any money, credit card, nothing to start out. You don't even need to go check your email uh, to check out. So right from the site, you can go ahead and start your blog. Um, there's prompts, the user prompts that will help you go through it, and we've gone through all of that so far. I went ahead and activated it, and we're in the back end, and I'm showing you different concepts, different things for you to look for when you're creating your own blog. So without further ado, let's go back to the screen. When we left the show, I was changing my, uh, my, my, my website title which I uh, said, if you didn't know what it was, for, most of, for the most part, if you go in your back end and you don't understand what it is, you can either go ahead and try it out like I just did and refresh it and went to go look. Not only is it here, it's also down here um, as the site title. Uh, and you can do it that way or you can go ahead and search it through mm -hmm. Google. So when you first started, Charles, how did you, get, how did you find out some of these concepts? Uh, just, you know, YouTube, um, books. I got a couple of books on, um, you know, like Dreamweaver. I got a book on that. <clears throat> and then, uh, like, as far as like, HTML and all that, CSS, I mean, there's uh, lynda.com, uh, YouTube. You, right. you sent me some helpful links from yeah. that, that you learned from. So uh, that's pretty much it, just teaching myself, really. 
I don't have any classroom experience in. Right, like anybody can do this on their, if you have time to invest into it, uh, there's, like I said, the, the, that's why I'm, sh I'm showing people how to do websites here. Once you, once you make this, it's gonna be, uh, uh, it's gonna be put out into the world forever. So I created a blog, um, my first blog I ever created back in, I think it was high school or college, and I didn't know what it was at, at first. And um, even nowadays, if you go search my name, that blog would be either one of the first pages or second pages of Google if you search my name. So it's there forever, and what I did was wrote, wrote a sentence. So if you put something out there in the world, um, that's how we all can learn and how we're all getting the information. So. I think it's a good idea to at least get the basic concepts of how these things work. So now uh, we did the site, uh, so let's go do the tagline. Um, tagline is basically explaining what your website is. Um, uh, let's say we air live. <clears throat> Every Friday. We air live. At 3 p.m. Every Friday. When you're done with that, make sure you give me the link so I can add it to my. Uh, uh, the link, link to the. On, uh, yeah, to our, our WordPress. So people can leave like comments and okay. send emails or messages. 3 to 4 p.m. Send email and messages. So, is there any struggles that, um, as you were learning it by yourself, was there any struggle that you came across as you were. Because, like, uh, building my site? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm still if anybody, if, like right now, if anybody's watching me to get a step by step on how Dealing to do this, with, they dealing, probably won't get dealing it. Dealing with the the tax people and getting that information, so that way you're actually seen to comp other companies that you're trying to do business with as a legitimate business. It takes a while. They're pretty slow um, over there at the taxation office when it comes to updating updating your information online to make you right if you're online, searchable. Out. And whatnot. Um, as, how, uh, how did as, that go? As a tax. Yeah, I'm still waiting. It's going to be a while. First, they messed up my name. They put my last name first, first name last, so that screwed everything up. And <clears throat> so, yeah, it's just a big waiting game. They only update their system once a week. Right. So, so I don't know how many weeks I got to wait. And you so, need that to do business. Yeah, so. yeah. So I'm pretty much uh, at it. All right. So we have our tagline here. We air live every Friday to four. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And the thing is, every time you're done, save it. Um, make sure you have everything, um, and then for your for your changes to reflect, you have to save it. So right now you see it says yo yo, because um, I didn't save it before. Now it should say the yes show, and uh, tagline should say we air live every Friday from three to four. And let's see if we refresh that. What happens here? Bam, the yes show, right? Um, now that tagline we air every three from. Uh, it, it's searchable once we are in. Um, once we are, it's part of our 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 um, <clears throat> our in when when Google search our site to uh -huh. index it, it's part of that tagline. So the Yash show we air live every. So that's what will come below that. So let's see if it if it's been indexed yet. And where'd you put that in the title? That's part of the tagline. Tagline, um, okay. Yeah, that that WordPress makes. Oh, there we go. Well, I'm all over here, but uh, is it our is it our blog? Nope, not here yet. Tim, the Tim, the app show. GMA. And this is well, this is not Google. There you go, it's right there. Word, WordPress TV. <clears throat> this is not Google at all. Oh, you're on Bing. <laughs> I'm on Bing. I think Google is faster at indexing. So let's. Hey, we're still not there yet, but so we have more to do then, because this is just. You know, bam. one thing about uh, I'm starting to realize when it comes to these, you know, like uh, search engines, like Google, Google, ninety percent, uh, ninety-seven percent of their income comes off of advertising money that customers have to pay um, to make their site searchable, more searchable online. So I'm starting to realize it's kind of like the stock market. It's all yeah, you can game. pay. You, you know, when you yeah, go to Google, the money. first. The first, like these right here, where it says ad, you can buy ad spaces and add it there, and they're pretty cheap, you know. They're not, they're not that much, but 
All right, let's, let's finish this first initial part. So uh, for the rest of it, um, instead of going through every single one, because there's a lot of settings for you to start, first of all, we haven't changed a couple of things here. That's why it's not showing up. Our indexes, how it's showing up here, you see it says WordPress. It still says the words.com. So we need it to, uh, for the indexes for all of these to show. So let me go ahead and activate all of these right quick. So it, uh, we have our time zone, our time, how we, how we want it to appear and everything. Uh, the week starts on Monday, right? Does it start on Monday? Yeah. Or Sunday? Monday. Monday? Okay. So we have Sunday and we can save these changes. So that's just the general settings for you to have all your, um, for you to have everything set up and ready to go. Um, I see here. And there's more options on the side here where you can add pictures for, um, for your, on WordPress.com. So it shows who you, who you are and what it is. So, uh, but for your live website, you won't have uh, stuff like that. If I was on GoDaddy right now, some of these options won't be there. Okay, okay. So that's a general setting of writing. Um, basically, um, like I said, you can type writing settings for WordPress into Google and it will give you a, um, uh, it will give you a, a you know, a, a general idea what it is. Um, so you just go through, for most of these, you just got to click OK. Uh, and this is just the formatting, just letting us know uh, emoticons, it can switch it to, um, like if you type it in, it will switch it to an actual picture looking okay. smiley face or whatnot. So you can, you can change that if you want. Uh, default post category, categorize. And these are, sta these are like default post format. So when I post something here, it's saying that uh, this is my post. When I say hello world, this, is, this would be my post, right? When I, when I post something on my website, this is where it's going to come from. And then uh, my default post category is telling me that once I, I go up here to pages, when I start creating pages to create an actual post, what the page will look like, um, what it will look like, would it be wide, would it be to the side, um, this, basically that's what it's saying. And uh, let's see, a standard, here right now, the way it's displaying is the standard. So right now, that's standard, that's how it will look. Or I can choose for a side. A side is the sidebar on, the, on your side of the, of the screen. So if I choose to, every time I go post something on my website from the back end, and I want it to appear in a sidebar, I can choose it as default for that. You okay. can change this every time, but if you want to work faster, yeah. so you know when you click page, this is what's going to happen. This is where you do it from. So I'm going to keep it as standard. I'm um, going to keep most of these as standard. Let's see here, use Markdown for post pages. Yeah, and there's a lot of things you can do on here, so. And there, there's excellent, actually, tutorials on YouTube as well that you can go and follow through. Um, if anything, if you don't get anything out of this show today, it's to show that, uh, you know, don't be intimidated by these things. Um, just go in there. Most of the things that you, do, you would need to do is dedicate time. And, uh, and the time, for the most part, is for you understanding what a word is <coughs> based yeah. on what that factor you're looking at. So, okay. And here's a cool thing. Now, uh, in the settings, in the reading settings here, now, if you, you can choose to do blogs. You know, blogs is like, if anybody uh, know, if you know blog, it can be like from a couple of sentences to, uh, to you know, just quick thing that you're saying. Maybe you have something on your mind based on something you, you saw that you want to put on your website and you have blog readers. So it's something quick that you can post. Now, um, you don't have to go to your back end. Sometimes you can do it from your cell phone or whatnot. So let's say you have a quick idea, you go on your cell phone, you go to your back end, you go to blog, you go to um, pages, and you want to create a page. Bam, 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 you, wrote it, you write down your, your, your thoughts or whatever, and you hit post. When you hit post, that post, that recent post that you happened, your home page then now becomes that post. That's what the blog is. Okay. But you can change that setting, right? So you can just have a front page. Like, for instance, if you go to Yahoo, their front page is always the same. The only thing that changes is probably the news articles that are coming mm. down. The, not the whole page doesn't change. But if you have a blog, the whole page changes based on what you post. And if you do not want that to happen, if you want to have a static page like Yahoo does, mm. you will have to change it to a static page. So okay. now we can create one page that's our front page that will always be our front page if they go to our blog site that okay. will be there. And it doesn't change if I make a post. So if I make a post and I want people to see the post, then how does that happen? Now then you create navigation links okay. to your blog where you hit blog and when you click blog, it will go to those posts. And your most recent post will be the first thing that comes up. So I'm going to click static page. 
And I haven't created any page yet, so I'm going to do the about page. Um, maybe we should go ahead and create a page first, make it a home page, and then come back and, and do the setting so you can see exactly what that is. Uh, let's do that right after a commercial break. This is the Yap Show. I'm your host, King Zilly Doc. I'm your host, King Zilly. You can find us uh, live here Friday, uh, 3 to 5, and we'll be right back. Aloha. I'm Hunter Hevelin, host of Sustainable Hawaii here at Think Tech Hawaii. You can tune in every week on Thursday at 2 p.m. to see interviews with sustainability professionals from around the state and even further abroad, learning about activities with water management, food security, waste management, and a whole host of other uh, fascinating opportunities to get engaged with making a greener island. So if you're interested in making the transition from consuming individuals to communities of producers, check us out every Thursday. Welcome back, and when we're leaving, we're just gonna we're just still doing our settings for our blog site. Um, I don't have a home page yet, so the default blog page is the home page. I'm gonna go ahead and create a home page for my blog site. Uh, nothing necessarily have to be on there right now, just for demonstration purposes. So where we left out, we're in settings. In our settings, we're in writing. We wanted to change how our, uh, all our website looks and everything like that, but in order to do that, we had to have a page to connect to. So I'm gonna go to pages here. And pages is how you create your pages, like your about page, your uh, your uh, your whatever page you want, mm -hmm. your blog page, and that's how you do that. And right now, uh, this template came default with just an about page. So I'll go ahead and add pages, add new page, and I'm going to call this page home. And since I'm having a static page, this is what is always going to be on my home page. So when somebody first comes to my blog at the yashow.wordpress.com, this is what they're going to see. And over here, you have different options. Um, where to make it very easy is that you can just do your, your, your thing in here without any much coding, and it will appear as it is. So um, I can go and preview it before I save it. It's a good thing to see where your, where your site is going to look like mm. before you save it, so you can preview it, or else it overrides what's going on. So this is my home page. It's not looking pretty right now because, like I said, there's a lot of settings you have to set up. Um, mm. The way I want it, I want like a giant jumbotron with pictures on the bottom. And all of that is the fun part of it. That's what you're going to be building. That's what you're going to be adding to it to make it look good so people want to, people come to it, they can stay on there. So for the uh, purpose of this, you see I created a home page. This is what the home page is. I'm previewing it. Uh, let's say I like what it looks like, so I'm going to go back to my page and say save draft. Now if I save it, that becomes permanent. You know, that's there okay. unless I go there and change it. Now the beautiful thing about this too, you're not limited to just, if you're a coder, so if you're not a coder, you can do it like this. But if you're a coder, you have the chance to go in the back end to see what the codes are. So right here it says visual. This is visual. Um, it, that's for somebody who doesn't know how to code. And then, uh, oh, we seem to have lost our signal. Um, let's see here. If you, so we seem to have lost the page right now. Um, while we wait where this comes back pretty, uh, pretty much. Uh, what I was saying is that once you got that home page, you, um, we want to set it up so it's the actual default home page. Okay. And for most part, people don't, like I said, all of this is on YouTube. You can go check on YouTube if you want, or you can hit me up. I'm, I work in the building here, too. Um, we're having a little So if somebody's today. interested in uh, having a website built, maybe like an attorney or, uh, <clears throat> you know, a uh, accountant or something like that, they can come see you, correct? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, I, I can give them a, a much more advanced system um, than this. Actually, not more advanced than WordPress, but I can make it more simpler, um, where okay. you can still have that back end. Um, and the thing is with it, um, with WordPress, um, sometimes they don't have uh, the support. You have to go do a lot of Google searching or go to YouTube a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, what I can do, is, which I'm almost done right now, is create that whole thing for you. That way, um, you, the person that you bought it from, you can come directly to that person. I can change everything. I can make it look totally different than what you got it for. Because I made those code. I know what they do. I know where they are. Um, I can start it from scratch, whatever you want. So if you can find a developer to, f to build something like that for you, mm -hmm. that way you have your own system for life. Like, for instance, where I work at right now at AIU, um, 
uh, they have their own team. Like I'm part of that team as well. You know, I'm there. Um, I coordinate. Uh, I coordinate with um, other ITs that are all of, that are scattered around the world, Pakistan, Florida, and then um, we work on our own. like if we need something changed or we need something added, we do that. We don't have to go through work together. like a third party. Yeah, mm. we work together. We uh, and it's all in house. So that's something like that. I uh, I'm pretty sure I can build a, a good enough something for somebody. Not like a huge business that employ like a hundred people or something like that. But if you have your own business, um, maybe you employ you like see, yeah like twenty people or something like that, or just by yourself. And um, you can do SEO too. So you can do that. That's making it's actually that's what sexual. that's the beauty of that system uh-huh. is built into it. So you can um, describe what your pages are, and so it can be indexed easily too. So. Um, the point is, so you don't even have to worry about it. You just put your content on there. Worry you, about advertising. You don't have to worry about advertising. You just put your content on there. Um, uh, like I said, uh, let's go back here. For instance, um, on our on our dashboard here, uh, I was creating a homepage pages here. You know what? Um, I might have to. You know what? <laughs> I might. I might have to. Uh, take Stay some time tuned out. for part two. Right. <laughs> Anyways, so the the beauty about this, if uh, we're having difficulty with equipment, that's why it's so hard to do a live tutorial on here. Um, I, I should probably stop doing it now and probably uh, take some time, invest some time on a weekend and do a concrete video maybe, and then just show that video on the show here and do a commentary on it. But uh, as you see on here, that Yap show, that WordPress.com, it is up. It was free. Um, it is, uh, you can go on there right now, and you'll see that it's there. If you want to get the, your own extension at, let's say, at a .com, then you probably need to go ahead and purchase. But it goes through those steps like WordPress. You can get them free. Uh, another one is like Wix. Um, I think they have Wix is free, yeah, too. Wix. <clears throat> you can do it on there. So, And uh, don't be intimidated. Like I said, don't be intimidated by how everything looks. Um, like Wix, they have a drag and drop feature where you can oh, actually cool. drag things where you want it, which is cool. Uh, with uh, uh, WordPress, you have a back end where it gives you uh, the ability, if you don't know code, you just type in what's, what, uh, your content into the visual editor. Uh, and if you do know code, you can just uh, they have the text editor. You can click right mm-hmm. next to the visual editor. They can go ahead and embed your HTML code in there. I wish I would have showed you this as well, too. Uh, WordPress comes with it's code like for other coders you, um, for other uh, website coders you cannot see the code um, it's always like so so it's friendly to the user but uh, with WordPress they give you the options you can actually see the HTML code and you don't even have to use uh, the back end um, and the clicking and whatnot if you know how to do the code you just go ahead and do the code as well uh, however you're still limited by some chance as it is a uh, site builder mm. and they have different codes that are embedding to it so um, that's the beauty about that. Um, uh, if anything spark your, uh, you know, you're working on Duo Troller right now. Yeah, Duo Troller. And I'm talking about all of this. Is, um, is there anything that sparked your imagination about Duo Troller that I can probably touch on before we end our show? Yeah, no, just, uh, you know, just getting the name out there, Avatar, you know, searchable, uh, making, you know, uh, a SEO friendly site. Now, okay. Now, uh, to give you my opinion, um, you have more content. Right. Um, I, I, let's give my opinion. The content, and um, I, I don't know the exact website builder you're using, um, and I don't know how they're, um, uh, you said something like... Uh, Dreamweaver? Oh, you're using Dreamweaver? Yeah. Okay. So, so HTML, but with meta tags and all that. Yeah, so you need a meta description. So you need a meta description. So in every meta description, just describe it best as possible with your content with few words as possible. Mm. Um, few if, words as possible. See, even so, yeah. With you, concrete, uh, con- uh, concrete and few words as possible, like 250, I think your, your maximum is like 255 characters, mm. um, but that's way too much. But uh, even still, yeah, it's still um, it's not easy to become searchable. With right. Even then, you would need to, know, you need to learn um, database, like PHP database. So your next step would be to learn about database. What's that? Um, if you're on WordPress, like you say you are, you'll need to connect to a database. That way you can put in all your, um, you can house your, uh, your page, your content, and everything in a database that yeah. you can you use a code to call the database and it will just display it on the screen. And with that, you can put descriptions and, and uh, make it easier for a search engine to search it. Uh, with, um, because you can have spots where you can put descriptions and stuff like that, and it will just pull it. 
uh, bite code. It's a it's mm. a deeper concept right now. So have your own um, server, pretty much. Yeah, and they're free. Uh, you can you can do a, a local server. So uh, you going live right now is admirable, but there's a lot more uh, things that you need to build up to to understand how that exactly works, or you'll be paying money to people that are trying to make you understand or trying to just either uh, say this is how you do it, this is how, what, how you do it. But your first step was doing the HTML, which is admirable. You did it. Uh, the next step now is to have your own live server to see how the server works. So you, then you understand how Google works, how uh, uh, GoDaddy works or whatnot. And um, you can go online and say a local server, and they'll show you how to install your own local server. And with that, you don't even need to have you know, you don't need to be connected to a website to see your web to yeah. see yeah yeah you, uh, you can, don't have to be connected to the internet you mean you don't have to be connected to yeah, the internet offline. to see it yeah you can be offline and that way you can test all your things and make sure <clears> it works <throat> on your local server and then you can upload it to uh, but again that's a way harder way to do it uh, Charles here is uh, he's very um, persistent in learning how these things work and he is doing it he has a website up uh, uh, this great stuff and I'm just showing them the next step uh, is to learn how the server side works and the codes and everything like that but for those of you that are not up to that um, that um, you know just want something to go up and get up uh, like I said Wix WordPress they have things that you can click oh. and you can just search and understand what they are and find tutorials on them that will help you uh, create a website so without further ado uh, thank you for being here, Charles. Any last thank words? You. Oh, no, yeah, no, it was a great show. Um, looking forward to uh, next week, and hopefully we can have yeah. a guest or something like that. You know, maybe we can find a guest that's uh, into this kind of thing, an expert. Right. Um, and I, I, if somebody shoot me a topic that uh, you want me to research, I'll go ahead and research it. SEO, this is yeah. research uh, advertising and SEO. And uh, I read an article earlier today about how Google... Um, uh, yeah. yeah, so uh, you know, next time, Charles has more to say. Next time, we will go more over that until next week. Uh, Aloha. I'll try to finish some words in next week. <laughs>